One of the ways we record data about sedimentary rocks is by using a stratigraphic column. So it's a graphical representation of the rocks. And so we have a vertical axis, which is the scale. And so this is the thickness of the rock unit. Uh, so, for example, in this image over here, the pen is 15 centimeters long, approximately. And so if I was going to draw this uh, rock or graphically represent it at the same scale, I might go from zero here to something like uh, 15 centimeters up here. If you were measuring much thicker rocks, you'd uh, change uh, the scale uh, for that. And then across the x-axis here, we have the grain size. So what this does is it allows us to uh, record the grain size uh, graphically uh, with the thickness of the rock. And also, uh, within this layer, we'll draw the beds relative to the grain size, and we'll also include the sedimentary structures that are present. So, as an example, um, I am going to, I don't know exactly what the grain size is in this image, but I'm going to say basically this whole area in through here is very fine sand. Right. And it is uh, 15 centimeters thick. It varies a little bit. So what I would do is the bottom of the image is here. Right. It goes across here. And if I had 15 centimeters of very fine sand, I would draw a vertical line all the way up to 15 centimeters, which I'm not actually, oh my goodness, not actually drawing it straight, uh, but pretend it is. Okay. And then I would describe the sedimentary structures in this sand. Now there are some uh, faint laminations and then there are also these circular areas that the, that the arrows are pointing to, and these are burrows that are filled uh, with coarser sand, and, um, and then there's some, some faint planar lamination. So I'm going to make a legend and define these, so I'm going to say my burrows are, are going to be this little squiggle and a faint planar lamination. I'm going to draw as one line with another line underneath it like that. So then what I would do is I would draw some burrows in here and with my tablet they're a little bit look a little bit different. Let's make that one a little more curvy. I have to exaggerate the curves here. Uh, looks like there may be quite a few in this zone here, so I'll maybe add a couple. Uh, and there's one right at the boundary here, uh, but not very many near the top. So maybe I'll add, I'll add a couple in here. Okay, and there's actually more planar of the faint planar lamination at the top. So I'm going to add that symbol in here. And there's a little bit uh, down in the zone here, right below where there are lots of burrows. So I'm going to add that symbol here. And there's not much below that. Okay, so now I've drawn my stratigraphic column representing the sediments up to here. So there's this burrow sitting right here. And then we have this wavy line here, and this is medium sand here, and then it goes back to the very fine sand up here. 
So we have uh, maybe uh, three centimeters or so of uh, the medium sand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We're going to start our zero right here since I didn't actually count 15 up. And so that means each one of these lines represents one centimeter. So there's a little bit of variation on this surface. So I'm going to draw it as a wavy line. And then the grain size is medium sand. So that's this line right here. So I'm going to trace it going up. OK, I drew it to the right one here. And then I have, um, let's say, uh, three centimeters or two and a half centimeters of, of, of medium sand. But then there's a gradation into the very fine sand, but mostly at the top. So we have one centimeter, two centimeters, then it grades back to the very fine sand. And say that goes up another centimeter. Okay. So you don't really see any um, sedimentary structures in there, so I could put some dots in for sand if I wanted, but that duplicates this end out here. And notice that I drew this as a, a curved line here, and that means that it's a gradational change. Then at the top of this very fine sand bed, the green arrow here is pointing to a flame structure, which is a deformation feature related to dewatering of the finer sediment below the coarser sediment. So you can see that the layer varies. And then we have some really nice uh, planar lamination, which my line did not actually follow. Um, there. And so we have two new things to add to our legend. Uh, we have flame structures. And I'm going to draw them like that. And then we have um, a well developed planar lamination. I'm just going to call it planar lamination. And because it's better developed, I'm going to do two lines that are parallel, whereas this one has the break in it. So first on top we have the we have an abrupt change and it, I think we're gonna this is medium sand again. All right, so I'm gonna draw uh, a contact that goes out to medium sand, and then we have the flame structure. So I'm gonna draw a flame structure like that here. And maybe there's some planar lamination over here now that now that I, I look at it a little bit more closely. I'll call that some some faint planar lamination in this zone right here. So that's the lines with the break over it. And maybe maybe within the fine sand as well. Okay. So then the medium sand is, again, let's say um, uh, up to here is about four centimeters thick. So one, two, three, four. And it definitely has the planar lamination in the upper parts of it. There. And up at the top here. Okay. And then it's a little bit hard to see in this rock uh, what we have. So, and I should say that when I have, when I show a line coming out like this, like this one, it's an abrupt. Change in the grain size. So this one is also abrupt. That means that there's a really distinct line uh, between the two of those. Okay? And then this waviness is a uh, bad drawing. 
So what we end up with is a graphical representation of a rock. And what this means is that it's um, recording our observations of what we, we can see in the field. And then it allows us to compare rocks uh, from one site uh, to another um, with the key features um, recorded within the stratigraphic column. Thanks for watching.